Now, I'm not one bit surprised. <laughs> it's that boy gene, I'm telling you. <laughs> Yay! Samuel Webb, I wanted a hamburger. <laughs> cousins that are boys mm -hmm. and then I have Dariah and now I'm uh, oh. then I don't know what uh so uh, no girl baby's name is but it's gonna be another boy the boys go on if there's a girl I'm gonna be like <laughs> in your long line of boys <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a cook. Part of the ship. Part of the that's so funny that you guys love SpongeBob and now you're both fry you're both cooks. Well, I technically I am the fry cook. I work the fryers every day. That is hilarious. That's so cute. That's my favorite. I'll tell you one thing, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Thank you. It's a coin toss. That's for you. Sorry. You might have to hold that stuff up again, Kathy, because we're just now getting the phones out. She's showing the other stuff. Almost one blue shirt today. Yeah, here. Why you have any water? She did, and she asked her if she said yes, and I have no time. So I gotta ask again. The parents. That's good. 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 Go be with the Lord. So anyway, I got a phone call, so I had to pause the video. But what I was trying to tell you guys is, you know, I was going to give you an update on Sandra. She's um, out of it. Of course, she's on that morphine, and you know they just want to basically help you leave in peace and that's what she needs she doesn't need to have to hang on forever and ever 
And I was going to tell you, I was sitting here thinking about this. You know, I've watched this so many times. I watched my brother go through it. And I watched my dad go through it. And I watched Mildred go through it. Which was Chris's grandmother, a friend of mine. And I watched Nancy go through it. Although Nancy went through it for two weeks. Because sometimes people have a hard time letting go. But <clears throat> sometimes letting go is the best thing for them that you can do. Now, I love Sandra. And we've had a lot of good years together as friends. But I know her. She wouldn't want to be laying there in that bed. But she is laying there in that bed. And she's going to be there until her body gives it up. So, I just, I'm praying that the Lord will go ahead and let her go so she can be up there, you know, with them. We say up there, but to be honest with you guys, you know, the kingdom of God is all around us. It's just across a veil, and that veil is like a lining between this um, reality and the other reality. I'm not thinking of the right word right now, but that's okay. Dimensions, if you want to put it in the term of dimensions, you know. That veil is probably a lot thinner than many of us would think because we're in this existence right now. Anyway, I don't want to get lost in my thoughts or anything like that. I just wanted to come on and make an update on that. Um, I spent the past two days not going over there because I really needed to come to terms with things. I really needed to grieve. And I've been through grief so many times. I can tell you guys that heavy grieving is that part's already done. And I'm glad that it was done while she was still here because when you long to see that person so much, like I can still see her. So I can grieve and still see her. So for me, that's a blessing. I think for Jack, that's a blessing. Um, his sisters were there when I stopped by. Um, we're trying to check on him to make sure he eats good and eats well and everything. But he seems to be doing pretty good. He is, you know, grieving what's happening with her. And the depth of his love for her is actually showing a lot right now. Um, but he's okay, so that's good. And I had Joshua and Kayla and Jariah up yesterday to eat dinner. I would like to have Samuel and Cassie come, but, you know, they don't socialize quite as much or anything like that so but that was nice I made some barbecue some pulled pork barbecue which was really good I just got back from Sevierville had to go do my contact recheck make sure that these contacts were um, doing well they actually had to give me uh, they had to strengthen my uh, prescription two clicks and I thought it was you know, because of oiliness or proteins on the contacts or whatever, but it was actually, I needed stronger contacts, so that makes sense. Anyway, I know it's not the best update, but it is what it is, guys, because it is what it is right now. And we've got some cold weather here. I want to say it's going to be up to 50 today, so that's not real cold, but last night it got down pretty cold supposed to tonight so but I'm glad that spring is here I'm looking at the dogwood right now which I probably should show you guys so yeah that's my view outside of the truck <laughs> looking out at my dogwood and all of my plants and I'm finding a lot of comfort in these things because I mean this is what Sandra and I did together you know we we were plant hunters. <laughs> I've got that one video of she and I going to the mountains and plant hunting. And that was a lot of fun. 
But I'm ready. I'm ready for her to go be with the Lord. I'm ready for her to be at peace. So that's where I'm at today, guys. And I am tired. I'm going to go rest. I'll talk to you soon. Well, guys, here we go. If ever there was a moment to capture on my channel, it would be going to help lay my friend's body to rest. So, she passed last night. Actually, I had gotten in the shower and just asked God if he would go ahead and take her because when I saw her yesterday, she looked like My best description would be a mummy. You know, her eyes were sunken back in her head. Her skin was like leather. Of course, there was the swelling in the arms and the feet. And I just couldn't bear to see her like that anymore. You know, like I had told you guys yesterday in the clip, I've been through this several times with people passing and how long it can take to for the body to stop and I didn't want her body to hang on and keep fighting she didn't either I know her I know her like I know her and I know that she would not want her body laying there like that so Anyway, um, I got out of the shower, was drying off, and my phone started ringing, and it was after 9. No, it was just before 9, so I knew it was probably Jack, and it was, and thank God. That's all I could say. I said, thank God, thank you, God, thank you, God, because of the state I saw her body in yesterday, so. I know that. I know that she walked into eternity. I know that the Lord met her. I've heard these stories so many times. I know that it's true. I know that it's real. But I also know that there are those of us that have to stay behind and live without her. And. That's work. It's work. It's going to be work. But anyway, I reached out to my friend Dondi last night. She and Sandra and I used to go hiking. And she, Dondi's up in Indiana now. But she's one of the only best friends that I have. I have Debbie. You know, there's other people. My children are my best friends now. I mean, God puts people in our lives to not take the place of, but it's almost, He replenishes us. He replenishes us, you know. He didn't create this world or us to hang on to things. And, you know, that's what eternity is for. Eternity is where... Where the memory never fades and all those things. So, anyway, that's what's going on today. And I'm losing so much hair, guys. I'm telling you, every day I just, it's just gobs and gobs of hair. So, even though my iron level is back up, I still, my energy level is not 100%, but it's so much better. Like, I would never complain. <laughs> but, still have like a lot of hair loss going on. Anyway, I'm going this morning to meet Jack down at the funeral home. Um, nobody else wanted to, but Sandra would want me to. She had asked me to be there, to be there. I, I can't get into other, you know how family is guys, I, you know. Everybody processes things differently. That's what that's what I hear. That's what I start 
It, it's supposed to make everything okay. That's what that is. Every, everybody processes things differently. In a way, that's BS, to be honest with you. Part of... And I guess... Part of the sacrifice of life is to be there when we don't feel like being there sometimes, you know? And I guess, in some ways, I'm guilty of that. I mean, I didn't go to certain things with my Aunt Colleen because at the time I just feel like, I felt like I couldn't handle it and it wasn't my place and all that. I don't know. I'm rambling. But, in a way, death of somebody really close to me has happened so often it feels like an amusement ride that I know the pitfalls in a the process and you know it's like those rides at Dollywood the tornado you know I was able to handle it because I was familiar with the twists and turns and could predict how it was going to go and that's the way it is with death like the more the more deaths you go through the more predictable it becomes but when you lose a friend that sticks closer than a brother there's no way to prepare for that you know there's there was no way to prepare for my mother passing my dad I was prepared for that because I wait, I was up there for the week while he was passing, so I was prepared for that, but I was not prepared for my brother to pass, Eddie, Kathy, Amanda, <sighs> anyway, I know what Sandra would say, I mean, you just just steal yourself and you just keep walking forward I mean that's what you do you know I'm still here I've got children that need me grandchildren that need me I've got friends that need me I pray for the people that watch my videos sometimes it's just a flat-out sacrifice sometimes it's totally against my will like not wanting to be here but, you know, still have a job to do. I hate to be that way about it, but the joy comes later. You know, there are joys. But sometimes, like when something so detrimental happens, you just have to be the soldier and be there. Anyway, I'm probably not making much sense, but I guess you guys probably understand. So, I'm going to go be there for Jack, because Sandra would want me to, and they've been there for me, so they deserve it, you know? Anyway, I'm going to hop off here, guys, and I hope you have a blessed day. I know Resurrection Day is coming up sometime. I do not call it Easter. I do not like to use that pagan goddess name to describe the resurrection of Jesus. It's resurrection day. Anyway, so I'll talk to you guys soon.